Hello everyone. Today we're going to have an introduction to factoring using the diamond. This is the second part. If you want to see the video of the first part, I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So um, we're talking about the diamond here. This process that we're going to be doing today is needed when we are going to factor quadratic expressions using the box and diamond. So we are doing the diamond part. So again, in this diamond, we have A and B in red are the factors. So that means if these factors factors are multiplied together. That's the number that we write on top. And then if we uh, uh, add these two together, that's the one that we write at the bottom of the diamond. Now let's have an example to better um, understand what this is. Now this time around, the first part, uh, uh, the first part or part one, we only had all integers. Now this time around, we're going to have um, variables on it. So let's say for example, this one right here is 10x squared and this is 7x. So we are going to determine what are the factors that we write over here such that when we multiply, it's 10x squared and when we add, it's 7x. So the first thing that we did, just like the first part, we're going to find the factors of the ones on top of the diamond. So the 10, so I'm gonna write 10. So the factors of 10 would be one times 10 or it could also be two times five. So these are the uh, possible factors. Now I need to figure out which would come out to 7. So 1 plus 10 is 11 or 1 plus positive 11 or negative 11. 1 minus 10 is negative 9 or positive 9. It doesn't work. But if we have here 2 plus 5 is a 7 or 2 minus 5 is a negative 3 or po uh, positive 3. So this are the factors. So I'm going to go ahead and write 2 over here and then 5 over here. So then let's, again, be sure that there is an x. So we're now putting uh, the variable x in there. Now we are going to figure out which one's negative and which one's uh, positive, since both of them are positive and positive. So if we multiply this, that is positive 10x squared. If we add this, it's 7x, so it makes sense. Now let's have um, another example right here. So let's take this um, next problem right here. Suppose I have here, uh, the ones that are inside, I mean, on top of the diamond is negative 6x squared, and this is 5x. So let's figure out the factors. Of, again, first thing that we need to do is to find the factors of 6. So I write 6 over here equals, the factors of 6 would be 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. So these are the two factors. If we go to 3, it's just going to be the same thing. It's just going to be a repeat. So when we add these to 1 plus 6 is a 7, and does it doesn't it go 7. 1 plus um, 1 minus uh, uh, 6 is a, f a negative 5 or a positive 5. Now, it's if we look at this one right here also, that's 2 plus 3 is a 5, and then um, 2 minus 3 is a 1 or a negative 1. So let's see which one of this would work. So it says that it should be 5. So I can go ahead and write here um, 1x and 6. So this is um, that's 6x. Which of these will be a negative? So the negative 1 would work. And so if we... Uh, um, and multiply these two together, negative 1x times 6x is negative 6x squared, negative 1x plus 6 is a 5. And so we got the factor. So the 1 and 6 um, work. You can try 2 and 3, it should not work. Okay, so let's have the next example right here. Let's have, um, here is negative 14x squared, and then this is negative 5x. And over here, let's have um, 16x squared, and this is negative 8x. At this time, I will encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, let's go over this. So first, let's find the factors of absolute value of 14. So that would be 1 times 14, and it could also be 2 times 7, and um, that's it. So let's find the factors. So uh, the one that would work here should be this. Okay, so I go ahead and write 2x and 7x. But which one of these will get the negative? Good, it's the 
7 that gets the negative. Now let's have the next one right here. We find the factors of 16. So 16 can be, uh, the factors of 16 would be 1 times 16. We also have 2 times 8. And another one could be 4 times 4. So they all get 16. So which of these work? We, we, we want it, well, we want an 8. Good, so this one works. So I'm gonna go ahead and write 4x and 4x. But which one of these is a negative? That, that's a positive. It means that both of them are negative, so that if you add these two, that's a negative 8x. Did you get the same answers as these? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!